Matt Harvey was drafted 10th overall back in 2010. When he was called up in 2012, he would immediately start being one of the most dominant pitchers in baseball. However, his dominant era was very short-lived, and now he's in quite the mess. Harvey went from a Mets icon to playing terribly, to being cut. And now he's in a scandal so big, he may never play baseball again in the majors. This is Baseball Breakdown. Harvey was drafted 10th overall in the 2010 draft by the New York Mets. He'd wind up taking all the way to the August 2nd deadline before he was signed by the Mets. Harvey would, by 2012, be the number 38 prospect in all of baseball. He posted an ERA under four in all levels of the minors. He performed relatively well in the minors. He was a high draft pick and the 30th prospect in baseball, and people were pretty hyped when he came up in 2012. He'd live up to the hype and more. In just 10 games, he would post a 2.73 ERA, as well as 70 strikeouts in just 59 and a third innings. However, he'd really come out and dominate in his 2012 season, as he posted 2.27 ERA in 26 games then, while striking on 191 and 178 in the third innings. He'd also have an MLB leading fit at 201 and an MLB leading home runs per nine at 0.4. As in over 175 innings, he would only allow seven home runs the entire season. He would be an all-star and take fourth in the Cy Young, falling short to just Jose Fernandez, Adam Wainwright, and Clayton Kershaw. 2014, he'd show similar dominance with a 271 ERA and 189 in the third innings while striking out 188. While his numbers weren't as strong, he'd still have an 140 ERA plus, meaning he was one of the better pitchers in baseball. In his first playoffs, he would wind up playing pretty well with a 3-4 ERA in four games, and he would help take his team to the World Series, falling just short to the Royals. This would wind up being his only postseason experience in his entire time in the majors. The hype on Harvey for the 2016 season was massive. He was only 27, and he'd been dominant the first three years of his career. He was certainly looking on a bright future, however, 2016 would take a drastic turn for the worse. He'd only play 17 games due to injury, and in them he would have a 486 ERA, while a career low 7.4 K per nine, along with a 147 whip and an 83 ERA plus. However, things would only get worse from here. In 2017, he'd have a much worse season, where he was one of the worst pitchers in all of baseball. He would post a 6.70 ERA in 19 games. He'd also have a career low 6.5 K per nine, a FIP of 6.37, and an ERA plus of 62. He was really one of the worst pitchers in baseball. However, he faced injuries again, so people still had hope. He was a good pitcher just facing injuries. However, his hopes for being a, an ace met again were destroyed when in 2018, after just four starts, he'd be traded to the Reds for Devin Mesoraco. On the Reds, he'd be much more respectable, posting a 450 ERA in 128 innings while striking at 111. His ERA plus was still sitting at 93, but it was a lot more respectable than his seasons in the past. Because of this, the Angels would sign him to a one-year, $11 million deal. However, they would soon regret that, as he wouldn't even make the rest of the season on that team. He posted a 709 ERA in 59 and two-thirds innings, while only striking out 39. He'd wind up being cut before being signed to a minor league deal by the A's. In the minors in just five games, he was strong enough to get a contract in the majors by the Royals, where he would post an 11.57 ERA in seven games. He'd have an ERA plus of 41 and a whip of 274. 
In 2021 with Baltimore, it wasn't much better, having a 6.27 ERA and 127 and two thirds inning with a 71 ERA plus. However, things were about to get a lot worse, basically locking in the deal that he will not pitch again the majors. He would be suspended 60 games for supplying illegal drugs to Tyler Skaggs, who would wind up dying on a drug overdose. Surprisingly, the Orioles would not void his contract. However, he's currently pitching in the minors, and while he's playing well, his past is not good enough for me for him to get another chance in the majors. Some players like Domingo Herman or Dubal Herrera are good enough to come back from these suspensions. However, I don't think Matt Harvey is. He's been very bad, and he's lucky to even be pitching at a minor league level. I don't think he's good enough in the minors to get another chance in the majors, and he's also proved he's not a good person. Or at least someone who's made a monstrous mistake that's going to possibly wind up costing his career. Matt Harvey's going to have to pay the consequences for his actions, and he should be lucky he's playing in the minors still. He may pitch again, he may not, but either way, Harvey's legacy has been ripped into pieces due to the last five seasons and has destroyed any chances of the young future he had of being one of the best pitchers in baseball. Thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe.